हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी क्लासेस ऑफ वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट अ कंसेप्ट नोन एज गुरु चंडाल योगा सो सम पीपल दे से दैट इट इज अ गुरु चंडाल योगा सम से इट इज अ गुरु चंडाल दोष so basically this is not considered auspicious by nature and in either of the way you can say it so the way you are saying it that it doesn't really matter what matter is what matters is the practitioner of vedic astrology needs to understand how all of these yogas or dosh whichever way way you are saying it it is impacting that individual's life and for that a thorough interpretation of that particular individual's lagna chart needs to be done so see there is a confusion between the word yoga and dosh as i had mentioned multiple times previously is yoga is basically considered auspicious by nature and dosh the word dosh is considered in auspicious by nature so whenever we are associating the word yoga with guru chandal you know co- combination the yukti which is forming a guru and chandal yukti so it doesn't really make sense but then you know as per the world of vedic astrology as per the practice of vedic astrology the word yoga has been associated with guru and chandal see the reason why it is so is because even some uh, you know cases rare cases or in some cases exceptional cases or in quite a num- num- number of cases bad combinations just i had talked about vish dosh i had talked about amavasya dosh i had talked about now i will be talking about guru chandal dosh and even if before i had talked about many dosh or in the upcoming classes i will be referring to many dosh a lot of time such dosh they give good results to very good results and why is it so? so that is the reason why i was referring i was talking about earlier that and a practitioner of vedic astrology needs to understand exactly how will that yukti impact that individual's life whether that yukti yukti will give proper results or whether that yukti will give improper in auspicious results so that's why whenever i talk about any yogas whatever concepts i discuss in my vedic astrology classes i always talk to you in a practical way by showing and by talking about examples so that you will be practicing whatever i am saying i just don't talk in a very theoretical way just telling it in one or two lines and just then completing the class i give proper examples the actual examples that is the actual way which an a practitioner of vedic astrology interprets and analyzes a particular lagna chart in order to understand whether that topic is relevant or not in that particular way only i discuss in my videos all of my videos so that you have a practical understanding the real time understanding of all the concepts whatever i am discussing so only by doing those only by doing that practice you will be able to understand whether a particular yukti is forming a yoga or a dosh so whenever in the starting of the classes starting of the videos or anywhere during the videos if i use the word yoga or dosh both are applicable right because i just said this is very much specific to that individual's lagna chart only by analyzing a particular lagna chart we will be able to understand that in which particular house a uh, dosh is forming for a particular yukti or a, or a yoga is forming for a particular yukti and this is what i normally do for every class for each class whenever i am talking about one particular concept so guru chandal yoga 
or Guru Chandal Dosh is basically not considered auspicious by nature. Guru and Chandal Yoga or Dosh forms whenever Jupiter and Rahu, these two planets, they form a Yukti or even they form a Prati Yukti. A proper Guru Chandal Dosh is formed when these two planets forms a Yukti means, means Jupiter and Rahu are conjunct in one particular house of a Lagna chart or they are sitting together in one particular house of a particular Lagna chart. Then we see, say that a Guru Chandal is happening. Now, whether that is that will be a yoga or a dosh that we have to analyze by interpreting by looking at the horoscope in detail. All right. We can just because Jupiter and Rahu are sitting in one particular house, we cannot come to a conclusion that this will be absolutely negative. No. As I said, in many cases, it forms a yoga also. I had talked and I had discussed about all of these things in many of my classes. And by now you will be able to understand that we need to again look at all the horoscope, the entire horoscope in detail in order to understand whether inauspicious combinations, they form a doga, yoga in rare cases, in some cases or in or a dosh. All right. So what happens when the, this particular Guru Chandal is forming a dosh means this Guru Chandal will give inauspicious effects. Then we say it's a Guru Chandal dosh. In these situations, whenever you can say Guru Chandal Yoga giving inauspicious effects or you can use the word Guru Chandal Dosh in whatever way you say it, whenever the particular combination is Maraka by nature, inauspicious by nature, there will be certain indications, certain symptoms seen in that individual's behavior and character. So such people who has a negative Guru Chandal Dosh or negative Guru Chandal Yoga in whatever way you say it is forming in that particular Lagna chart. Such people, there will be a probability that such people will use unethical means to earn, right? Unethical means. Such people might also acquire unethical and wrong knowledge. Such people can also be seen quite being quite aggressive in nature. And that's what I think the commonalities of a person who has a negative Guru Chandal Yoga will be seen carrying all right, this behavioral characteristics or this behavioral traits. So there can be even more symptoms, but that we need to again understand by looking at that particular horoscope chart in detail, then we can be quite specific in order to understand how a Maraka Guru Chandal Dosh will affect that person's life in what particular areas that person will face a lot of difficulties or that person might take a wrong direction altogether in life. We have to understand by looking at that Lagna chart in detail. As I said, Guru Chandal is basically formed, is properly formed when Jupiter and Rahu are sitting in one particular house. But sometimes it also forms, it also, you know, gives the same effects when Jupiter and Rahu are both aspecting each other. So Jupiter is also aspecting Rahu, means Jupiter is giving Drishti to Rahu and Rahu is also aspecting Jupiter, means Rahu is also giving Drishti to Jupiter, both are aspecting each other. Then also many a times Guru Chandal effects are seen occurring in that individual's life or the Lagna chart or the horoscope. Now let's understand using a particular Lagna chart in detail, how this Guru Chandal Dosh or Yoga will happen when in which particular house it will be negative in which particular house it might form a yoga. All right. So let's look at using a Sagittarius Lagna as an example. So you can pause the video and you can draw a Sagittarius 
लगना चार्ट सो द फर्स्ट हाउस इज रूल्ड बाई राशि नंबर नाइन दैट इज सेजिटेरियस सो इन सेजिटेरियस लगना जुपिटर बींग दगनेश इज ऑलवेज योगकार का एंड आई हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड राहो इज योगकार का और नॉट I had made a separate video or class altogether, explaining and talking about Rahu and Ketu in details. How to analyze whether Rahu will be Yoga Karka or Maraka in a particular Lagna chart, or whether Ketu will be Yoga Karka or Maraka in a particular Lagna chart. I had made a separate class altogether. I will, if in case you have missed that class. please watch that class first and then you come to today's class otherwise you will not be able to understand whatever i will be speaking or whatever whatever i am about to speak right now so if jupiter and rahu are sitting in the first house of you know sagittarius lagna chart so here i can see jupiter is sitting in its own sign and if you have remembered about the concept of panch mahapurush yoga jupiter is forming a panch mahapurush yoga but here rahu will be negative because rahu is not placed in its friendly sign and rahu is also debilitated in the sign of sagittarius all right so here both jupiter and rahu will form a kind of a guru chandal dosh even though jupiter is very very positive but rahu will give bad effects during its mahadasha and antardasha and during the mahadasha and antardasha of rahu it will definitely give bad effects because rahu is placed in its bad sign so by default rahu is maraka also and over and above that rahu is debilitated so here rahu will definitely give a lot of ill effects and during its dashas it will reduce the positive effects of jupiter or it will obstruct the positive effects of jupiter so under such situations a yellow sapphire can definitely be worn but again yellow sapphire needs to be worn only if degree wise jupiter is not strong so if rahu and jupiter are sitting in the second house of sagittarius lagna here jupiter is even though jupiter is a yoga karaka for this particular lagna chart in the sign of capricorn jupiter gets debilitated so jupiter will be debilitated in the second house rahu will is placed in its friendly sign <clears throat> that is the sign of saturn capricorn so here rahu will be yoga karaka we also need we need to see the placement of saturn in this particular lagna chart to understand whether rahu will be completely yoga, yoga karaka or not all right so let's understand if yeah, rahu is yoga karaka because if saturn is well placed and jupiter is debilitated so they in this situation also there will be somewhat negative effects of guru chandal dosh see a guru chandal dosh will properly give negative effects only when both rahu and jupiter are maraka or if rahu is maraka all right suppose it is the other way around if rahu is yoga karaka jupiter is maraka then also there will not be much bad effects of guru chandal yoga because jupiter even though it's it is maraka will it's not completely bad because jupiter itself is a very godly planet so it might create certain difficulties and struggles in life but it will not give that much of ill effects which a maraka rahu might give so two conditions where guru chandal forms a proper dosh means guru chandal dosh is a maraka or an inauspicious uh, dosh itself means an auspicious but still guru chandal forms an inauspicious conjunction let's put it in that particular way the two conditions are both jupiter and rahu needs to be maraka this will form a very bad or the proper worse guru chandal dosh and even if rahu is maraka and jupiter is yoga karaka then also guru chandal dosh will give 
certain bad effects and if jupiter is maraka rahu is yoga karka then under such situations uh, there will not be much bad effects of guru chandal dosh and if both are yoga karka if jupiter is yoga karka rahu is also yoga karka and both are sitting in one particular house then we cannot say there is a guru chandal dosh at all then in that situation we said it's a guru chandal yoga because both the planets are having the ability to give good effects is just that as both the planets are complete completely opposite by nature we say that the combination of these two planets are not nice by nature but how it affects the individual that we need to understand by looking at individually rahu and jupiter in a particular lagna chart and that's what i said if both rahu and jupiter are both yoga karka very well placed then the, under that situation we can still use the phrase guru chandal yoga because in that particular scenario there will not be bad effects that is seen in an individual's life who has a guru chandal dosh if rahu and jupiter are placed in the third house of sagittarius lagna in this situation rahu is also placed in its karaka house third house rahu is also placed in its friendly sign that is the sign of saturn placed in aquarius jupiter is also placed well so this will again have give guru this is also giving rise to guru chandal yoga all right but here rahu and jupiter will only give good effects after a lot of hard work because in to achieve the results of positive results of third house a lot of hard work is required because third house talks about lot of hard work but results will surely come if if this particular third house is positive in an individual's life that house will definitely give good results it might take certain time it might ask for a lot of hard work from that individual but after a certain period of time when that hard work is properly met with sincerity and with honesty results positive optimistic results will definitely come in that individual's life if rahu and jupiter are placed in the fourth house of sagittarius lagna here rahu is badly placed because rahu is placed in its enemy sign jupiter here also forms a panch mahapurush yoga so that you again need to see because jupiter is placed in its own sign and jupiter is placed in kendra but as rahu is maraka here there will be some sort of negative effects of panch or sorry of guru chandal dosh because rahu is maraka rahu will give ill effects it will not be that much ill when rahu is maraka and debilitated that that we had seen in the first house but still rahu will give bad effects it will try to obstruct it will try to delay it will try to create hurdles with whatever good things the fourth house has to offer with whatever good things jupiter will do in order to attain the you know the good qualities of the fourth house all right rahu will try to obstruct it especially during their dashas so that's why uh, some sort of negative effects of guru chandal dosh will be happening can uh, there is a probability it, it it might happen because of maraka rahu if rahu and jupiter are sitting in the fifth house of sagittarius lagna so here jupiter is yoga karka but rahu is maraka so there will be again some sort of negative effects of guru chandal dosh if rahu and jupiter are sitting in the sixth house of sagittarius lagna here also rahu even though rahu is exalted in the sign of taurus but rahu is badly placed in the 6th house so there will be some sort of difficulties related to the planet rahu not completely bad but some some sort of bad because rahu is exalted in the sign of taurus that is good jupiter is very badly placed because jupiter even though yoga karaka is placed in the 6th house which is not great so here also there will be negative effects of guru chandal dosh 
if Rahu and Jupiter are sitting in the seventh house, so this is here also Rahu is exalted because Rahu is exalted in the sign of Gemini. Jupiter is also Yoga Karka. So here also there will be a Guru Chandal Yoga because Rahu and Jupiter both are Yoga Karka and they are well placed sitting in the seventh house that is the Kendra house. So some say that Jupiter getting placed in the seventh house is not that great because seventh house is not the Karaka house for Jupiter. Jupiter has nothing great to do with the seventh house, but still seventh house is also related to daily income, daily wages. It, it represents business opportunities. It talks about uh, business partners. So under certain cir such circumstances, under the professional circumstances, Jupiter will behave well. Jupiter can also behave well in personal life. So we have to understand how Jupiter is behaving. So here a Yoga Karka Jupiter and a Yoga Karka Rahu will give good effects. And here again, it's, it'll not be, there'll not, there'll not be any kind of negative effects that is seen from Guru Chandal Dosh. If Rahu and Jupiter are sitting in the eighth house of Sagittarius Lagna, here Rahu is badly placed. Rahu is not at all well placed because Rahu is placed in its enemy sign. And Rahu is also placed in a bad house that is the eighth house. Jupiter is also badly placed. So again here there will be a lot of issues related to the aspect of Guru Chandal Dosh. So a lot of bad effects because of Guru Chandal Dosh. It will be seen in that individual's life whenever this Rahu and Jupiter will sit in the eighth house of Sagittarius Lagna Ascendants. If Rahu and Jupiter are placed in the ninth house of Sagittarius Lagna. So here Jupiter is Yoga Karka, but Rahu is placed in its enemy sign, incompatible sign in the sign of Leo. So Rahu is Maraka. So here again, there will be some sort of negative effects because of Guru Chandal Dosh. Uh, some sort of negative effects of Guru Chandal Dosh will be seen in such combination or in such conjunction. If Rahu and Jupiter are placed in the 10th house, here Rahu is placed in its friendly sign. That is the sign of Virgo. So Rahu is well placed. Jupiter is also Yoga Karka. Rahu under such situation will also be Yoga Karka. So this is also or this will also result in Guru Chandal Yoga. The negative effects of Guru Chandal Dosh will not be seen in such situations. If Rahu and Jupiter are placed in the 11th house of Sagittarius Lagna. So here you need to understand here Rahu is also sitting in its Karaka house. Because Rahu behaves well in 11th house, similar, similar to the third house. Jupiter is also sitting in the 11th house. That is its Karaka house. Jupiter behaves very well in the 11th house because the 11th house is the Karaka house of Jupiter. Rahu is placed in its friendly sign. That is the sign of Libra. Jupiter is Yoga Karaka. So here there, there will also be a Guru Chandal Yoga. And the negative effects of Guru Chandal Dosh will not be seen in such situations. If Rahu and Jupiter are placed in the 12th house. So here. So I forgot to tell you one thing. In the 8th house, Jupiter was getting exalted because Jupiter gets exalted in the sign of Cancer. But still Jupiter getting placed in a bad house that is the 8th house will not be able to give good effects. If the same exalted Jupiter was positioned anywhere which was not the 6th house, 8th house and 12th house then Jupiter would have given excellent results. 
but that exalted Jupiter will not be able to give that much of good effects because it is placed in a bad house itself, in an in, auspicious house, which is believed in Vedic astrology. The only way Jupiter will help getting placed as in, as in an exalted sign, but in the eighth house is whenever it will come to the area of research or higher learning, then Jupiter will give opportunities. Otherwise, uh, you know, Jupiter will not be able to give that much of good results. It's exalted good results because it is placed in a house where most of the Karakas of the eighth house is not that great. So again, Rahu and Jupiter placed in the 12th house. Rahu is Maraka again, and it is placed in a bad house also. So Rahu will not give good effects. Jupiter will also not give good effects because it is placed in a bad house. So here also there will be bad effects of Guru Chandal Dosh. So this is how you need to understand whether a Guru Chandal Yoga is happening or a Guru Chandal Dosh is happening. In another way, if I want to say it, whether the conjunction of Jupiter and Rahu will give good effects or whether it will give bad effects. This is how we need to analyze and this particular process will be applicable for all the Lagana charts. So you have to analyze every detail in order to understand whether this combination will be auspicious or this combination will be inauspicious for that individual's life. And yes, so this was all about the concept and the topic of Guru Chandal Yoga or Guru Chandal Dosh. The conjunction, the Yukti, the combination of Jupiter and Rahu getting placed in one particular house of a Lagana chart. So again, I will tell the same thing. I hope you are watching all of my classes, all of my Vedic astrology classes and in detail. I hope you are not skipping any part because even if you skip 10 seconds, you will miss out on a lot of information. Watch each and every part of all of my classes in detail so that you will have a proper understanding. You will have a correct and a detailed understanding about Vedic astrology. Whichever topic you want to understand, whichever topic you want to learn, all of those topics will be covered in my Vedic astrology classes. And if you want to be a sound practitioner of Vedic astrology, you have to practice whatever I am saying. So you have to watch my videos over and over again till you are attaining that confidence that yes, you can yourself now implement the learnings into a particular Lagna chart. All right. So this is the confidence which you need to attain and that confidence will only come with repeated practice. All right. So that was all in for today's class. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my videos, share my videos. And if you have any doubts, any queries, any questions related to the topics of Vedic astrology, that is whatever I am sharing and discussing in this particular YouTube channel. You can definitely share them in the comment section and I will definitely try to answer your questions, your queries, your doubts. Take care and have a nice day. I'll see you in the next class.